Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So like all of you, I watched the reunion episode which premiered on Wednesday at 9 p.m. And I cannot believe they had that episode so late in the night. I was kind of annoyed, but, and I almost didn't watch it because Storytime with Ricky spoiled the, the episode. But I was like, you know what? Maybe there might be things that are coming out I might not see. So I watched the reunion I'm going to keep this review as short as I can because I've already seen a lot of other commentators reacting to the reunion and all of our thoughts are relatively the same. Now, just let's let's get into it. Ashley and Tyler. I said I said it. They're still together and they're still acting as if everything is OK. When Tyler and Ashley explained the whole baby mama situation or him and his sperm donor children, which is not true, it didn't explain anything. They literally lied to the cameras. Ashley coming out and saying, well, I knew everything. The arrogance actually she displayed on that stage talking about, I knew everything. So people saying I should divorce him, I should get an annulment. You're insulting my intelligence. No, Ashley, you're dumb. You are absolutely a fool. And you're making yourself look like a fool on camera for a deadbeat dad who also has been evicted seven times, who has scammed women out of money, who is a serial cheater and deadbeat father. Like, how could you defend such a person? But you know what? If Ashley, if you want to be in that mess because you want to be a uh, Miss Wife, Miss I'm Married, go ahead. No one's stopping you. Because apparently she's still in her um, Instagram blocking people who are trying to share the truth or who are criticizing her and Tyler. If she wants to go live in that delusional land with her man, she can go ahead. Tyler, trash, trash, trash. <laughs> the fact that, I don't know if y'all noticed, when he was talking, his voice sounded a bit lighter. I don't remember his voice being that light because on his show his natural voice seems just a little bit more deeper but it was almost like he was trying to appear as this sweet innocent man so he lightened up his voice a little bit to appear benign meanwhile he's not talking about I was donating sperm to a lesbian couple the wife left her and I stepped up and then he he paused after he made his non explanation as if he did something and I don't like, did y'all also see the body language between Tyler and Ashley compared to uh, Garrett and Taylor? Ashley's, their, bo their bodies were actually leaning away from each other. Like, the way she was sitting was sideways, and then her hand was on his leg, just outstretched. Just, it, <laughs> these two and their fake relationship, whatever. If she says she knew, which I think is only a revised version of what Tyler told her, if she don't want to listen, Ashley, go ahead. You you deserve what you allow. Next, Marissa and Ramsey's. Ramsey's, he still talked around in circles, in my opinion, when it came to the whole breakup conversation. He confirmed, though, that him and Marissa had a longer conversation about the birth control. He said he had looked into other options. He still... I think he said he was sorry. I don't really remember, and I don't think I care that much. But he, he didn't look comfortable. Marissa, she said, look, you made me uh, upset. And she said it was hard reliving the breakup. Her mom was there. Her mom was like, I had to pick up the pieces after you broke her heart. Like, you were out here crying, but you don't know what my daughter was going through. And I thought that was sweet from Marissa's mom. She clearly has her daughter's back. I said it in a previous video, I don't think Marissa's mom is as bad as the way she's being portrayed. I do think she's a bit rough around the edges. I think she could also benefit from therapy, but I do believe at the end of the day, she loves her children and will do anything for them. All right, Hannah and Nick. Pissed me off. <laughs> Pissed me off. Hannah, you did not learn your lesson at all you are not a kind person you are very mean you're still a bully her coming at nick saying that oh well you said uh i was ugly and then the cast was saying 
yeah, Nick said you were ugly. And the way Marissa was coming for Nick, I was just like, okay, girl, I'm gonna need you to relax. Like, why are you getting all gyrating, raising your blood pressure for Nick? Like, and I thought, I don't know if y'all heard, Marissa said that, you know, Hannah's direct. Because Hannah keeps saying that, oh, I'm direct, I'm just direct, I'm blunt. Like, nothing in how she was talking about how she treated Nick gave serious or gave remorse. She was laughing. She did not give a damn. And Marissa, I'm going to really, really need you to go to therapy and not date anyone for a while. I'm going to need you to focus on yourself because how can you be best friends with someone like Hannah? Talking about how, oh, Hannah's even mean to me too. As in excusing Hannah's behavior and how she speaks to people, which is very nasty. Why would you want to be friends with someone who's mean to you? I don't want to be friends with nobody who's mean to me. All my friends are so sweet and so kind. I can't imagine myself being friends with someone like Hannah. What, for clout? And the audacity of Hannah to come out and be like, Nick, you're this, you're that. And then admits to invading his privacy. Talking about he wanted to be famous. I looked at his stuff and he wrote a list about how uh, he wants to be the most famous person that love is blind. Okay, and? Hannah, you quit your job to be on the show. You also want to be famous. Heck, you're out here blabbing your mouth even before the reunion episode aired. Talking about how you lost all this weight so you think you're the baddest bee of all, right? Yeah, that's not going to change your mean-spirited self. And Nick, I did think it was a little annoying that he wasn't like just come and say, yeah, I called her ugly. And initially I wasn't attracted to her, but I never treated her with any disrespect moving forward. And then all the guys and the cast were ganging up on him. I I just, I was like, whatever. You know what? The fact that Hannah, the host, didn't go in on her ass (laughs) was just, whatever. All right. Next person. Leo and Brittany came. I barely paid attention to them. I didn't really care. Did not need to see them on the reunion. It's so interesting how they spent the first, like, four episodes of the season on Leo, Brittany, and Hannah's uh, love triangle, whatever it was. And then to not show them uh, in Mexico, not include them. And I found it really annoying that they didn't even tell us what happened in Mexico. Like, Brittany and Leo's explanation was very dry. Unless they said a lot more, but during the edit, they cut a lot of what was explained in the room. Because it was nothing. And then they showed two pictures of them in Miami. I was like, why? Like, what what was the point of them being on there if they're not going to explain what happened in Mexico? But both of them said they're buddies now, so good for them. It's interesting how they're actually the more chill ones in the cast. Next people, Alex and Tim. I also kind of glazed my mind over their argument. I just think both of them are a bit toxic. Both of them need therapy and neither should have been engaged to each other. Alex seemed annoyed with him almost after she met him at the reveal. And I'm not going to lie, Tim is also annoying. Him being like woof, woof, and knows that it antagonized her. And him talking about how he likes a woman who, like, gives it back. But clearly not, because at the reunion, you kept talking about how, like, you don't want to be portrayed as an angry black man. And yet, you're going around trying to present your case as to why she, Alex, isn't a... a good person to you or whatever. And Alex was like, no, this is what happened right before Tim said, I don't ever want to see you again. She was like, I was working a lot. Like I think Alex said she works like three jobs or something. And she was very tired. She said the events Tim said about how they went, uh, she went to the club and he was home or whatever. Like I, I, I'm not, I think, I've seen the discourse of people going a little bit more into the whole Tim Alex conversation and I'm neither team Tim nor team Alex. I think both of them need to work on themselves, go to therapy, do something and and not date at least for a while. They, I don't see why they even ended up together because they didn't seem to like each other. Then Monica and Steven also a waste of time. Steven out here saying that not only is he not going to show us the text, but that he deleted it. And <laughs> I said this on my Instagram story. I was like, if Steven wasn't such a disgusting person, 
with the cheating and the weird behavior and the overt sexualness and stuff like that. The way he talks, that man could be a lecturer. Make him a professor because he knows how to speak and talk around in circles. Oh, nobody wants to hear my story. No, 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 Stephen. We are watching this reunion. We want to know what's in the text. What do you mean nobody wants to hear? Why are you on stage? Talk. He don't want to talk because he just doesn't care. There's no remorse in him cheating on Monica. But Monica also got a whole stink attitude for someone who was apparently so hurt about this. She didn't seem that burnt out about it. She was just like, well, you shouldn't have cheated, blah, blah. I did like how Vanessa asked her, was like, well, asked her in in more ways than none that Stephen told you he cheated in the pods. Like, why did you move forward, basically? And I was like, yes, Vanessa, please ask that question. And Monica gave some roundabout answer talking about, well, we had a longer conversation and uh, she basically believed him. And I was like, okay, do what you want, Monica, because... Any other woman with sense would have saw through the BS that Stephen pretty much told you that he cheats. He told you how he cheats and you ignored it. Uh, Side note on that. I've been on these Reddit streets. Reddit said that Monica apparently was dating someone. Right. And she posted it on her story calling the guy the love of her life. Meanwhile, Reddit had the receipts and said this this boyfriend she got. He is a serial cheater. So much so he hurts the women emotionally like the women who have dated him have been left emotionally scarred because of how much a cheater and a liar he is and I'm like Monica (laughs) girl you need therapy too in fact this whole season seven of love is blind should be love is therapy this season is love is therapy love should not be dating love do not need to be in these streets dating at all love should mind their business love needs to act differently needs to act right because almost none of the cast has any kind of maturity almost none of the cast should be dating anybody at all they should be working on themselves to be better I mean be better emotionally and spiritually because Monica how you go back to dating a serial cheater you you are allowing what you think you deserve like you that desperate for a man you 36 Monica I believe she's probably 37 now you dating a serial cheater talking about love of my life okay all right if you if you like it I love it Monica keep 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 going and then I also find it annoying that they had like previous cast members on the show like I'm sorry I didn't care for AD AD I I didn't even I I told y'all I didn't watch haven't watched love is blind since season two but I was watching other youtubers react to season six which is the one AD was on and she seemed like a dummy then she seems like a dummy now I don't know why she puts on this fake baby voice. Uh, I'm good. I'm like so cool. I'm like, girl, okay, clout, go, just just stop talking, okay? No one cares. Didn't care for AD. The the two um, couples that had gotten married and had kids, Bliss and Zach, and then Jessica and her husband that's not from the show. I'm happy for Jessica, but I've been know that she got married and she has a kid. Uh, Jessica, if y'all don't know, from Love is Blind season one, She's the one that had the whole wine problem and then the dog and she was engaged to Mark. Y'all go check it out if you want to watch the original Love is Blind season one. So it's nice to see Jessica doing well. I just want to point out Jessica's husband, handsome man, tall. He's a doctor. And when she met her uh, now husband, he had kids. I think he had like two kids. And Jessica seemed to accept those kids as her own, as the stepmom. And then she also has one kid with uh, with him. So I just want to point this out. That's an example of a couple that did it right. Not Ashley and Tyler, who just straight up abandoned the, the kids, just straight up abandoned Tyler's kids. And Ashley is perfectly fine with that. I thought it was really like a slap in the face, quite disrespectful in their year in review. And we see the Christmas photos her and Tyler had together and the kids weren't there matching pjs talking about oh we'll have an ornament every year huh you just gonna act like the kids don't exist huh tally you are mean-spirited but ashley you are worse i would say you're worse because any woman who could support a man abandoning his children whatever whatever happens to you don't you 
dare come on the internet and complain because everyone is going to be like, we told you so. We told you. You don't want to listen. You thought you are Madame Tuno. Yeah, that's a, that's a Nigerian phrase right there for you because Ashley's half Nigerian. Madame Tuno. Madame Married. Okay. Keep it up, Ashley. Keep living in delusional land. It, <laughs> they, they soured and pissed me off for most of the reunion, so I don't care. But anyway, those are my general thoughts of the reunion. I'm glad the season is over. Oh, I just realized Taylor and Garrett, not surprised they're still married. I did think it was weird that they're not in San Diego. Um, I didn't expect them to move to San Diego immediately, I will say, like after they got married. I'm surprised a year in, like they're not there. Garrett said he thought he was okay with it, but then I guess he was saying he was homesick and was like, they moved back. And Taylor said, well, that's her husband. That's, that was, they had a conversation and they were like, okay, we'll move back to the East Coast. Said her parents are fine with it. And now they're living in DC. I thought it was weird that they said DC was a compromise. I was like, DC is not anywhere close to San Diego. It's still in the East Coast. And it's like, y'all did all of that just to stay in the city where y'all met. But Taylor said she's been in DC for five years. So she's used to it. I don't know. Garrett. And also I didn't like how Garrett, um, during the Ashley Tyler thing, Garrett was like, we got your back, Tyler. And I'm like, Garrett, man, please, in that moment, please shut up. Uh, and it, But, you know, at the same time, like, hmm, Garrett might not even know all the nasty details about Tyler. He's probably only seen what Tyler is showing up front. And we damn well know Ashley also likes to lie. So she's probably not telling the true details to Taylor and Garrett while they're hanging out. So in that instance, he, he might get a little bit of a slide, but you know, but yeah, that's it. Those, those be my thoughts. The season is finally over. I'm sure more tea will be dropped. I beg y'all ignore Ashley and Tyler. They want to live in Dululand. Let them do it. I'm probably going to continue watching Jessie Wu to see all the interviews she's getting, because I know she's going to have all the exclusive details. I'm excited for that. Um, but let me know what y'all think. What did you think about this season? What did you think about the reunion? Comment below what you think is going to happen with Ashley and Tyler. And let me know what you would like me to review next. I'm curious. Um, I see y'all's comments. Thank you for supporting my channel, subscribing to my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one.